And gopis are talking about Krishna's garland around his neck. One is made of pure tulsi, tulsi leaves. Now ordinarily tulsi leaves are not so fragrant, but it describes in the early morning for those who actually have love, for those whose hearts are awakened, we could smell the sweetest nectar of fragrance from Tulsi. Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vilochanena. Bhakti is not about seeing with our eyes or hearing with our ears or tasting with our tongue or smelling with our nose. All our senses are predominated not by our flickering, ever-changing mind. When the mind is totally still in bhakti, then it is our heart, it is our very soul, the atma, that is experiencing through the senses. So when our love awakens, when we smell tulsi, there can be no sweeter fragrance because Tulsi is so dear to Krishna. And the bees. Because in Vrindavan, everyone is a lover of Krishna. Everyone is a supremely liberated soul. The bees smell the nectar of that garland. And they're buzzing. Everyone. more enthusiastically. <laughs> You're being attracted by Krishna's, the love of his heart manifesting through his Tulsi garland. a bee. <laughs> and they were all flying toward this Tulsi garland. And Krishna's playing his flute. And as Krishna's playing various notes on the flute, a beautiful song, it's like a kirtan. He would play, and then he would pause, and all the bees would respond. <laughs> from their hearts. You may wonder what kind of heart does a bee have? <laughs> but in Vrindavan, the bees have pure loving hearts. They're wondering when, what kind of heart do we have? People in this material world are a heart that's not filled with Krishna's love and love for Krishna. What is the use of whatever species we're in, in that sense? The bees are buzzing so sweetly in perfect melody with Krishna's flute, and they're reciprocating with each other. And their wings are also keeping nice melodies. Everything. Every motion is an offering to Krishna. 